Hello. Am I speaking to Urban Smart Projects? I'm an international student from the Netherlands, and when I first came to Australia, I noticed that paint at traffic signal boxes, and I was wondering if I could paint one myself. There's a thousand traffic signal boxes in my town, and I can't count the artists who track them down. They come up with bright ideas or paint their dreams, from Mitchelton, from Mount Cravat to the sea. Letting individuals shine out in a city where there often isn't that opportunity is a really, really nice thing. We've always got between two and three hundred boxes for people to paint, and they're they're in different locations right across Brisbane. It's not going to be this one. But I don't really like the area. It's not really inspiring me. I like this box more than the other one we saw. I think it's going to be this one. It's just a matter of coming up with your design. Um, throwing it through on the email to them and they give you a yay or nay and send out the paints and away you go. Yeah, it says they cannot accept the design because it has too much blank spaces and those areas are likely to become tagged. And they also think it would be more appropriate to have a design that more reflects the area. West End is about diversity and creativity. And multicultural. Like, um, you see people from uh, like every different ethnic group here. Yeah. Mm. A, a painted box. Um, Are they in the market, painted boxes? Is that just to make them a little more easy on the eye? Yeah. Just the most popular kinds of fruit and vegetables you can buy. <laughs> Salads, um, trees. Can get started. Am I doing it right? When I started my first box, it took me about three trips to come and come and get it finished. But by the end of it, I was painting lots of, sort of three boxes in in, uh, in two hours. Each TSP is an outdoor studio. The artist feels at home where he or she may go. Each TSP has a story it can tell, conveyed by inspiration. From an artistic well It's my own personal little outdoor studio. I sit there and I can make that little space mine. It gets me out of the house, it keeps me off the streets and keeps me on the footpath. There's a thousand traffic. 
traffic signal boxes in my town And I can't count the artists who track them down They come up with bright ideas or paint their dreams From Mitchelton to Mount Cravat From Ipswich to Ludwich From Wynnum to Morlewin From the I was doing a box out at Albany Creek over about three, four weeks and each weekend a mother and daughter used to come out and see me and they used to, to come and talk to me and oh there's our friend so he yeah, got yeah, some good reactions. Look, for me as an artist, it's a win-win situation. I get to paint, plenty of room. I don't have a studio. I get to practice. I get to publish instantly. Whether you like it, whether you hate it, it really is irrelevant. But let's have a signs of humanity out there on the street. every corner virtually we've got our own public art spaces in Brisbane. But when you go to another city in Australia and you drive around and you don't see these boxes it's, it's a real eyesore. I'm happy, it's done. Let's do another one. <laughs> what art does, what street art does. It says somebody has been here. You want people that come along and say, oh, I'd love to be able to do one of these. Well, it just people can do it. It's just so simple. If you do it, it's addictive. You'll do another one, then another one, then another one. Really, art should be just freely created, freely given. And that's the beauty of these traffic boxes. There are thousands and thousands Thousands and thousands and thousands of traffic signals.